everybody. I'm, uh, I got a chunk of oak here. And I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna try and make my own axe handle. I got a couple of double bitted axe heads. And, uh, the ones you buy these days, you, you fluke out once in a while. You'll get, rarely you'll get a good one. But I've got proper grain orientation on this piece of oak here. So I think I've got enough wood there that I can get a couple handles out of so I'm gonna rip it. Outside piece would be much better. Yeah. I've also got this other piece of wood. This wood is heavy. Really heavy. Oh. Oak. There's another handle there. Or two. Eh? Isn't it? <laughs> I like it. Good. Chunks of firewood. Sopwood there. Good. Axe handles. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one. We'll get some cracking on the channel.
See, she's straight up and down. That's what you want. It's actually going to be sweet. I'm quite excited. So, we'll see how we do. Time to get into the hand tools. I'm actually going to crack it down with the power saw quite a ways. I'm, I'm actually, I've done a little bit of power saw carving, so I can get it down fairly good with a power saw. And then I'll get on to the, uh, the oh, rasps. Um, draw knife. That's what I was going to say. I have a part there. Sorry, brain fart. Draw knife. Stay tuned. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so anyways, I'm out, I'm, I got her to the last stage, you guys saw the last stage I had it to, pretty rough, eh, with the power saw on that, and I'm thinking to myself, okay, what can I, I said, I got a planer, <laughs> so I pulled out my planer, and I just want to get her down, so this is good, feel good, now, now, I can actually, you know what I'm saying, now I can put this on here. I've got to go over here. Sorry, guys. Sorry about that. Billy Bloody Ray. Billy Bloody Ray. Now. This is what I'm talking about. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Now. Where's my pencil? What did I do with that freaking pencil? There it is. Okay. Now. Nice to get two, there ain't no way. Important to get a, a nice deadline, you know, a, a, a line, hey? Okay, there we go. All right, it's time. Now what do I do? So I bet you I could cut grooves in there. Hey? Hey? Because look at all the wood I gotta take off. Right? It's like this much. So I could actually take and cut grooves. And then chip it out. Is that what you would do? Or would you just take a, a skill saw and just rip that out? Is that what you would do? Hey? Let me know. There's a hundred ways to skin a cat. There ain't no right. There ain't no wrong way. It's just the way you want to do it. Just remember that, folks. Remember that. Okay. I'll figure out a plan. But I'm thinking, I mean, I got my skill saw sitting right here. I could probably skill saw that. To get it more down. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm close. I'm getting excited. Figure it out. Oh, we're not. So why couldn't we do this with the skill saw? Why couldn't we just do this? Like this. Side, side hill. You know what I'm saying? Why couldn't we just do this? You know what I mean? Now, you guys, 
Remember on the... <laughs> Remember on the last video? Well, not last. My videos are kind of all over the place, but... This axe is my first straight up, like, from scratch, from a block of wood, um, cut from a power saw down and, and wielded down. It's oak. The handle is oak. It's my first shot at making my own handle. I've been wanting to do it for years. I've been so busy with the business. No excuses. I just haven't wanted to do that, obviously, that bad, but now I do. Time is allowing it. Anyways, this axe handle, it was that one where I fell out of that tree and I landed in a pile of tools, and this thing, this thing was here. It was right by my head. I'm like, wow, look at that. And uh, it's my road warrior axe. <laughs> it looks just incredible. I just kind of, it was rusted and pitted like crazy. Look, I've, you guys have seen it. You remember it. Look, I wonder if you can see that in the light. Hope there's enough light there. Let, let's get look at there. We go. See the finish on it. It almost looks like the Sager metal finish, you know. But look at it. It's straight up Road Warrior. <laughs> I couldn't find any maker's marks. I tried. They're rusted and pitted right out. But I put a little bit of a hand file edge on it, um, and I made this handle. It's not done. It's it's very rough. It's not finished, but it's a working axe. There she sits, and I am stoked with it. And this is the first time I'm cracking some wood with it. So, it actually, I thought it might, it's actually got a really nice feel. Really nice feel. I'm not done with the handle, I can tell by the feel of it, eh? I gotta get something else on the go with the handle, I can tell right away. But it, it, it really works nice. Like, it's, it's, it's got a nice weight. You know what I mean? Like, it just, it's splitting quite nicely. Very nice. What's this? Now this, roof, this wood was a little rougher. It was down at Jack's. But, oh, it's beautiful. I love it. I mean, it's primitive. But again, like you've heard me say that before. Look at it. It's splitting beautifully. I'm quite tickled with this. I thought this, this handle would be a little too primitive, but when I sand it up, and I thought I might have like, you can see if you look close, I know the light's a little bit different, but see right there? You guys will know one thing about me. I, I'm not, I don't get too concerned about, uh, like I actually like the looks of the vice marks in the wood. <laughs> I'm a little more rustic than the next guy, <laughs> but uh, I'm about, uh, workability and this thing's working really nice so uh it's called my road warrior axe and uh i'm quite tickled with it so i'm gonna work whittling down your old handles you know and i i'm trying to work on patience patience is not one of my virtues but i'm getting there so i'm quite tickled with this handle it's an oak handle it would be english oak which isn't like gary oak or anything it's a it's a little different still hard still good but uh not bad. I'm pretty tickled with it. Well, there's lots of guys on YouTube doing, uh, doing, but look at it work. I mean, it just, it's working just excellently. Um, there's lots of guys doing axe restoration uh, on YouTube and you learn lots. But I mean, this thing is just working really nice. You know, it's got a nice, nice weight. Out at the end of the handle. Oh, so I'll probably there she be. Hey, it's not pretty. I don't like things pretty. Hey, because I beat things. So yeah, it is a gorgeous night. I just finished that fallen job. I've got a lot of content right now, and uh, I'm getting it organized. And I like just filtering in little bits here and there, so I hope hope it's okay for you. Um, it's been the weather's been gorgeous out. I haven't had my crew cap out for a while. I'm kind of proud of that little handle. You guys might be chuckling away at me, but that's all right. I can laugh at myself too, so I'll join you with that. Oh my goodness, what a gorgeous night! I think I'm going for a walk.
get out and suck in some good, fresh, clean winter air. <sighs> hey, Chester, what do you think, bud? You want to go for one? Hey, come here, you. What do you think? What should we do? Sit. Sit. That's good. Very good. Yes, sir. -y. Yeah, okay, I'll have one of those. Okay. How about another one? Oh, sure, I'll take one of those, too. You say hi to YouTube? Hey? Say hi to my friends? Give me a kiss. Give me a kiss. Oh, good boy, good boy. <laughs> Over and out, see you in the two. We don't like it when we get caught. Looking for somebody to blame. Somebody to blame.